All right, I'm going to just walk you through the two ways you can get to Schoology, and then I'm going to show you how you go about finding your Schoology 101 course for your campus. So first way, Clever. So you will log into Clever as you normally would, and you will see it under Quick Launch Apps. You will also see it under your middle school learning resources. Pretty identifiable. It's usually the light blue circle with big S in the middle. So once you click there, um, you will go into and, and find your courses. Uh, the second way, or course, uh, but the second way is type in elearning.tisd.org. It will ask you to uh, sign in with your Temple G Cloud Google account. And whether you use Clever or you go this route by typing in the elearning.tisd.org, you will arrive at the same place. And uh, we're usually what you will see first at least right now, is recent activity. These are messages, communication from your campus that might have been put in. The other way, uh, there's two ways you can see here, recent activity and then course dashboard. And in the course dashboard, you will see uh, a certain amount of courses you are enrolled in. In this, you should see your campus's Schoology 101 course. One more thing, one more way I should say to get there is click on courses up here. Now, I have a different type of account, so you won't see tools, but you'll see courses, groups, and resources, which are the three main uh, sections uh, or parts of Schoology. So when you click there, you'll see the t top 12 courses, the, or the 12 that are listed first. In there, you should find your Schoology 101 course. That is what you will be uh, using today uh, during this uh, February 15th PD. If you don't see it, so maybe you see a bunch of these courses like this that are the ones that have been synced and brought over from Skyward. Don't don't have to worry. Don't don't fear because you can go up to my courses up here on the top right corner underneath your name click on my courses and you will see a list of all the courses that you are a member of if for some reason you want to reorder those and it's not something you have to do at all or even right now uh, is click reorder courses and you can move up the order in which you will see them and if you scroll down a little bit you'll see right here anything below here is one are ones that will not show up in the courses menu or in the dashboard so if you have certain courses you use all the time i would definitely reorder them and put them in this top section if you have any other questions run into any trouble let me know